Hey everybody, welcome back. Now I've done a lot of pocket saws. Today we're going to take a look at one that I have not done yet, and this is the Silky Pocket Boy Compact Folding Saw. Alright everybody, welcome back. So now in the past I've done a lot of different folding pocket saws, and this is another item that I have to admit in my early years of prepping, I was like, what the heck do I need that for? Then I started using one that I'd gotten for free that was kind of junky. And I'm like, oh, this is really handy. So, needless to say, I've changed my mind on them. And I do feel they are very important um, in your, especially your bug out gear, your outdoor gear, anything like that that you're going to be doing. Um, even a car emergency kit, these have an incredible value. You can really chop down, uh, you can really uh, saw up some wood. Get yourself a nice little fire going. They have an awesome spine on almost all of them. It's great for a fire starter. But generally, you're going to want these to process firewood and build shelters, maybe build some deadfall traps. Whatever you're going to be doing in the wilderness, these are going to be very, very handy tools. Um, now, I reviewed bunches of different types of these, from expensive to cheap. I think the cheapest one I've done is the, the Fiskars. And you can see how much bigger the Fiskars is. One of the reasons I like the Silky Pocket Boy is because it's so small. Now, before we get into the specs on this thing, I want to let you know really quick, um, we are having a sale over on my uh, preparewithiridium.com site. That's preparewithiridium.com. That's my Food for Patriots link. We are saying you can save $50 off a four-week supply. That's 2,000 calories a day. I did want to mention it in the beginning because I know a lot of people don't always watch to the end, and it's a really good deal right now. Just wanted to mention it on the side before we get started. Uh, because I know a lot of people don't go all the way to the end when I mention it, so wanted to bring it up to you guys here, so you guys get another deal. Okay, back to the video. Anyway, this little guy here is a 5.9 inch blade, or 130 millimeters. The dimensions, the length is 11.42 when it's fully opened, 2.36 inches on the handle, 0.98 inches thickness, the weight is 0.818 kilograms, so it's fairly light. It's a very light, uh, you know, very light saw. Um, you're going to open it like that. Let me just show you how to open it. You're going to push down here and pull out. And that's simple. So it's kind of this part of their universal use series. It does fit the palm of your hand really, really good. It sticks in your hand too. I like this kind of rubber grip on it because it seems to stick in your hand, but it's not overly sticky. So when you need it, you're going to have that traction on it. But it's not going to stick to your hand and make it, you know, make it all sticky and nasty. And that's one of the reasons I like the rubber on this. It's a really small EDC type tool. Um, the cool thing about this little pocket boy is it's small enough to fit into an everyday carry kit, your pocket, whatever, as opposed to, say, something bigger. I'm not going to walk around with this sticking out of my pocket all day. But this folded up, I'd have no problem with. You know, that's really, really small. And you can see comparative size to my hand, or we'll uh, grab a lighter here, this is one of my MK lighters, you can see comparative size, it's really not that big. So it's definitely a cool little item to have, it's really small and convenient to carry. It's possible to cut all kinds of wood with this one, from square lumber to panels to raw wood, anything you're going to do, it cuts only on the pull stroke. The cool part about that is, is you have less binding, so you don't have to work as hard. Their unique blade pattern on this, and we'll get into the blade pattern in a second, allows you to cut as fast as a larger saw, but in a much smaller package. Now, another neat thing on this, let me show you here. You can open it regularly like that, okay? But let's say you want to get into an area where you don't want to get your knuckles or your hand messed up. You push down on this one more time, and you get it at this angle, and it is locked in there. So you can saw this way and not chop up your knuckles or the back of your hand. So that's definitely kind of cool. The handle gets out of your way when you have to work in an odd position. You do have a hole on top here for a carabiner if you want to attach one. I think with tools like this, that's not a bad idea. So we got 14 TPI teeth. They're good for most anything. And so far, the couple of branches I've cut with this, hands down, this thing is the sharpest, best cutting folding saw I've ever used. Um, we've only done a couple of branches so far, but I was just amazed. It, uh, it's really, really neat. So let's take it outside. We're going to try it on some regular firewood, and then we're going to try it on some branches, and we'll come back in and wrap up. Alright, so let's just try it out on this piece of firewood here. See how quickly that just zipped through that. That's really impressive. Right through it, no problem. 
problem. Let's try some of this stuff here. There's a nice little piece. Get out of the way there. I'm be a little careful with this because it's a short piece and it's really near my hands. So I'm not uh, pushing down as hard as I could. But you see, it goes right through it, no problem. The thing is super, super easy to use. Cuts right through stuff quick. Gotta say I'm impressed so far. So let's go try it outside on some branches in front and uh, see if we can use it for trimming up some branches. Apologies for the wind noise out here. Um, it's pretty windy for some reason. But uh, this piece we're going to try right here. Cut right through it. Right through that easy. Again, a little lower. So the hype is justified. Silky saws seem to work very, very well. Gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with how clean and quick that cuts through there without a single bit of problem. Um, I've had some others that tend to bind up. You know, you pull them back and forth and they twist and they'll end up and bind up. So definitely cool. Let's get this back inside and finish up. One last little feature that I did touch on outside was the fact that this thing makes an awesome scraper. Now, I just scraped that up using this. The edge of some fat wood there. And the cool part about this is it has such a sharp edge. And, of course, you're not going to use it like this when you strike a ferro rod. You want to close it. But it's got such a sharp edge that you can really get in there and throw some sparks. And you got fire in no time. So there's so many uses for a tool like this that got to say I'm really impressed with it. So let me put out that fire, and I'll bring you right back. All right, so to wrap it up, what do I think? Well, I think the hype on the silky saws is definitely justified. I kind of always viewed them as a little bit overpriced compared to what other things did, other cost, uh, the cost of other items um, compared to what they did. And um, really, really impressed with it. It was kind of like the first time I tried that Baco Laplander that I have in one of my go bags now. And it was like, wow, what a world of difference compared to the cheap saw that I had in there before. And, I mean, even in comparing it to my Fiskars, which I keep out here for garden work, really. It's not really a, a survival tool. It just kind of sits on my shelf over there. Um, i, I, I got to say, it's way above and beyond that. So it's definitely a handy little thing. Definitely like the way it cuts. It does seem to cut only on the, uh, on the pole. So you definitely get that absolute no binding whatsoever. One of the neat things about this, just a side note, is this is some kind of Japanese import. Um... Not, I mean, I don't know where they're made. I'm assuming they're made in Japan. But um, this was actually, the whole thing is in Japanese. The back, all the directions. So, good thing I know how to use it. <laughs> or I'd be in some serious trouble because it's all in Japanese. Yeah, um, I've, I've never um, seen any of them packaged like that before. Just a little side note, I thought it was kind of wild that uh, the whole thing was... Uh, in a Japanese import. It is made in Japan right there. You can see on the, I don't know if you can see it on the label there. It says made in Japan. But um, definitely an impressive little uh, little saw. So that's the Silky Pocket Boy 130. They run uh, about 32 bucks. They're $31.99 at the time of the making of this video here. I have a link down below that you'll be able to pick one up from my store. Um, again, if you want something bigger, they have ones that are like the size of two yardsticks that fold open into another yardstick. I mean, they have everything from big to small, every kind of design you could think of. So, I mean, this is the gomboys, the different gomboy and the curve that they're showing in this image here. So, I mean, they have pretty much everything you could possibly think of. I just like this because that's the reason. It fits right in your pocket. Small, convenient, easy to carry. Um, it'll probably be going in a little, uh, little my little uh, rucksack that I use for uh, travel. If I get stuck on the side of the road, I can cut up some firewood with it. Um, you saw how quickly it tore through the firewood in the backyard there. So definitely an impressive little item. Anyway, like I said, you can pick it up in my store down below. I will have a link directly to it as well as having it in my store. Um, I have my store in two sections now. I'm probably going to expand it to three or four eventually. But the second section is the great prepper products, and that's where this will be. But um, you can go right with the link there and go right to the store. Um, don't forget to check out all our other links down below. We have our Amazon store link as well as our Thrive Life link, and I already mentioned about the uh, My Patriot Supply link, which is preparewithiridium.com. You got that $50 off your four-week kit, so it's a pretty good deal. 
And don't forget to check out our freeze-dried freeze wholesaler link down below. That's a 15% savings when you use my link. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.